hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video will be another resin heart frame tutorial and what you see me doing here is using some painters tape to get away any debris that's on the mold so that it doesn't get into the piece So now I am pouring out mixed resin into individual paper cups so that I can add my mica powder, my glitter, and some paint for the coloring of the resin. And I have been using Dr. Crafty lately. I absolutely love it. It hardly has no bubbles and even when there are some, they come to the surface quickly so it's easy to get rid of them with either some alcohol, a heat gun, or a blowtorch on a low setting. I will be using Artisan Pigments brand mica powders that I purchased from Amazon. The first color is Golden Sand. Next, we have Chartreuse. It's a very pretty light green color. And here we have Dusk. It's a beautiful, rosy, dusky pink. Last but not least of the mica powders, we have Glacier, a really beautiful light blue color. And the struggle was real trying to get this open. <laughs> And next we have Just For You Online UK Glitter. It's a very light purple. I purchased this from dryerdaysartstudio.com. I got this last year, so I'm not sure if it's still in stock. And now here comes the mixing. One reason I love these pigments, they mix very easily into the resin. Always scrape those sides to make sure you get everything. And I'll be mixing all of the mica powders and then the glitter next. So here I felt like I wanted to add a bit more purple, a little bit of a darker purple. So we're using some Apple Barrel craft paint that I purchased from Walmart. Now it is time to pour. So I honestly just did the first thing that came to mind um, and I started pouring at a diagonal into the mold. And I will just be layering the colors as I go. 
What I learned with dealing with resin, because it's so fluid, you have to pour a small amount at a time if you want to see different colors um, side by side. If you pour too much, it will cover the whole bottom of the mold, and that's not what I wanted. I wanted you to be able to see different colors. I will say that I have learned that paper cups are your friend when working with resin. Being able to create that spout makes it so easy to pour resin into a somewhat straight line. <laughs> and here I'll just continue to pour my resin until I fill the mold about two thirds full.
Now I'm using some 99% alcohol to pop bubbles. This is a really efficient way to pop bubbles without having to add heat. And now I am using my heat gun and this is just to move the resin around a little bit. I want the colors to stay separated, but I want it to look a little more fluid as well. Using the heat gun kind of made the dark purple disappear a little. So here I am pouring a little extra. Now I'll be pouring the leftover colors into the bottom part of the mold, which is actually the stand for the heart frame to sit in. I literally use just the leftover resin. I almost forgot that I had to pour that in there. So I scraped the cups as best as I can to get all of the colored resin out and I still didn't have enough. So I decided to add some clear resin, which will also give the piece a little depth as well. And now I'll be folding the resin, not really mixing it up so that the colors stay separated. And I like to do a little swirl on the top just to make it pretty. Now I'm using the blowtorch to pop bubbles that surfaced. I use design space to create the vinyl decal that I'll be placing onto the heart. I 
and try my best to eyeball the center of the heart when placing the sticker down. Once these stickers go down, you pretty much can't get them up without ripping it. Now I am pouring some already mixed resin so that I can do my top coat on top of the heart to seal in the sticker. And I wanted to add a little shine, so I'm using Dryer Day's Palace Sparkler to the piece. So pretty. And a little goes a very long way. Again, you can get that from DryerDaysArtStudio.com. If it's still in stock. And now to pour the glitter resin on top of the piece. And now I'm adding more clear to dilute the glitter from over the face of the picture. I actually ended up taking some of the glitter resin out off camera and added a lot more clear resin. It's been over 24 hours and now it is time to demold the piece. And here's the final look. It turned out absolutely beautiful. I hope my customer is very pleased with it as well. If you like this as much as I do and want to see more content like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.